Hey people. <laughs> what up? Hello, hello. This is not a drug, I'm telling you. For some reason, every Monday, I'm usually so exhausted, tired. Well, not necessarily on Monday, but let's see. By the time Saturday hits, on Sunday, I'm gone. And on Monday, I'm a gone. Let's just put it that way. So I need this. Okay, it's not a sponsorship, but, but I wanted to speak on why you need to find God for yourself. And the reason I wanted to speak about this is because I've realized over time, most people, they go by what someone says, purely based on what someone else says. And this has caused so much confusion. You find that a lot of people, they because of going by what someone else says, they find themselves in stuff like cults or compromising on who they are to fit a situation they are not supposed to fit into. And also they find themselves, they don't own their mind. It's like someone else dictates what they think on how they should think about situations instead of them having an open mind. Do you understand? Like an independent mind to decide, is this right? Is this wrong? Which is completely scary if you think about it, especially if you're going to expose yourself to people who have like selfish agendas. So. The reason I wanted to speak on it is because I remember the, the topic was about how most of us, we think from a place of trauma because of childhood stuff, especially things you go through. So keeping that in mind, imagine all the people in this life who are preaching from a perspective of trauma. So yeah. And if you're going to base your entire thought process on someone who hasn't dealt with their trauma, while still someone who doesn't even realize that they have a trauma issue, like that's scary to think of because everything they'll speak on is from that place and it's not a healthy place to like advise people from that place you get what i mean and so my mind process was if you're going to listen to anyone speak to you about god or if you're going to believe anyone about any certain topic or about any issue in life make sure they're coming from a good place and you know it's really hard to know when people have the right intentions because People can have the right intentions, but if they haven't dealt with things they're supposed to deal with in their life, that can come out in how they advise you because they'll advise you from a place of experience, a place of trauma, a place of issues basically. I feel like I need to speak on these issues because I remember for the first time I had this certain something happened in my life and I remember I never fully opened up to it because you know it was and I remember when I first opened up about it it was in a church setup and the approach that was taken the person did not mean like to no one really okay let's not put it that the person had the right intentions mind setup was in the right place but it was like a speech made out of in consideration of what the group were going through and i remember coming out of it feeling like so disappointed and i remember thinking if i had not done the work if i had not gone for like cancelling setups if i know mature people who i had talked about this certain issue 
I would have gone out of that situation feeling very broken, more broken than I already was. And I, thinking that way, I imagine there are a lot of people who are in that setup who went away very hard and more broken than they already were. And it made me think how it's important to, to be independent-minded, to be open-minded, you know, and to be very independent about the things you choose to believe and the places that feed your soul, you know, the places that basically feed your knowledge, you understand? So, yeah, if you're going to believe anything in this life, make sure it comes from a good place, first of all, and it's from people who have the right intentions. Don't allow people to make you like eat grass because there are people who are, you know, it's crazy the things people will do out of believing, like, you know, protect yourself. Have an open mind, but don't open yourself up to people with the wrong intentions. What else did I want to speak on? I think that's just the thing I wanted to speak on. Like, protect yourself. Careful what you believe. Analyze what you believe in. Do, you know, have a research on the things you're taught to see if they really add up. And also, if, you, if you're a Christian, because I am, like, pray pray like for guidance even if you don't believe in god you know it doesn't harm you to ask god to help you to like believe in the right things have the right people in your life who speak into your life who speak the right knowledge and being on this topic i think that's why i find it very important for every one of us to have an open mind have an open mind to learning because learning will influence how, who and what you believe in and who you choose to believe in. It makes you see a lot of different weird characters for who they really are. Especially for introverts. But the thing I find important is to engage in conversations with people. A lot of extrovert friends, a lot of, you know people who are blunt it has taught me a lot about how people perceive things people's perspective like different faiths what people believe in what people don't believe in it influences a lot about how people take in information you can read like for the scripture you can read the a certain scripture like to five times and each time you read that scripture it's different and that's the same thing with um all who get information all of us the way we receive information you could read the same book but the message you get from that book is completely different and that's the same thing with our faith in god we could all believe in the same god you know even to some extent almost align with how we believe in that god and the things we do but the motive behind how we are doing it and why we are doing it differs a lot so just be careful and another thing i wanted also to speak about is be like share subscribe